G'day folks, uh, Friday afternoon session on the Harvey Weir, uh, chasing redfin and uh, if I'm lucky, maybe a trout will take me lure. Let's go and have some fun. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. What's that? Ah, uh, perch. No, no, whatever it is, is let go. Oh, I'm on again. Oh, what have I got now? Got something. No, a little perch, possibly. What have we got here? Little perch. Oh, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, don't know if you can see that. Oh, oh. in the little portal. Uh, little perch, first one for the day. Not allowed to throw these back, so unfortunately, mate, I'm terribly sorry, but I have to dispose of you. All right, I'll try that double deep brim crank. I'll put it in the Hold her here. Oh. I love this um, brim crank, it just dives to a real good depth. Really gets in there. Oh, I'm on already. I'm on already, folks. I'm just saying how much I like the brim crank. I think it's a perch. It uh, had a good whack. Oh, yeah. It's having a good whack. Hey! Yep, straight to the surface. Given up, perch. What do we got here? Oh, a decent size one. He's not too bad. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. He's a good one. It's a decent size perch. That'll make a good meal. Alright, hopefully we get amongst this structure here and uh, we pin ourselves a perch. Tug it on something. Tug it away on something. There we go. I'm up. Oh, right, mate. Come back. Whatever's going on here. Oh, the wind's playing havoc with me. Oh, no. Uh oh. Alright. Alright. Hooks and the fish are hooked up on a snag. That's one of the problems, I guess. One of the problems you have when you're fishing this way is the. Um, look at that. Poor old perch stuck there with me lure on the snag. No, I don't think he was a good size, just me, uh, just the wind tearing me around was made him feel big. And a bit of extra drag on the on the gear. Ladies and gentlemen, a little perch. Number two. All right. Again, I think we're uh, going to hook up in this structure. Lots of these little perch in this structure. I just want to get one of those big ones. Decent size one. Might have scared them off with the bang of it. Oh, there we go. In the structure again. Oh. All right. 
Another one of these little ones. Oh, hello, decent size, here we go ladies and gentlemen, that's a better one. Ladies and gents, have a little perch there. Oh there we go, I'm on again. Nah, tiny, tiny. little bubba. A little fish. Oh, he's tiny. Such a little perch around here. Don't know if you're able to see that at all. But that's uh, that's all the perch I caught today. So these are the redfin perch that I caught tonight. This is a small one, and I've caught a few this size. I'm not allowed to put them back because uh, they're a pest and um, detrimental to the environment. So I don't want to waste them, uh, so I'm going to filter them, get what I can out of them, and then the scraps will um, go to the chooks, and the protein from the scraps will boost the chickens' um, eggs. So here we go. Let's show you how I filter them. Just up the up the guts there. With that. Oh, this one's full of eggs. What I'm going to do is uh, I just cut along the along that backbone there. Just cut straight along there like that, like so. Then fold it over like that, and then I. Come down there, like that. I'll take the skin off. Leaves me with the fillet. Sort of go on a bit of an angle so that I can get the, um, so that I can get it. Next one, as you can see, you can still get a bit of meat out of them, and then that there goes to the chickens for a bit of protein. And just if you come in here, and here you got the rib cage just along here, so we just cut along that line like that, so we don't get any bones just to there, and then that way, then on an angle back that way. And we dispose of that.
Mm. What's it like? It's delicious. Pretty good, mate? Saucy. Thanks.